RC coupled amplifier. We have discussed about practical CE amplifier. Now we are going to discuss about two stage RC coupled amplifier. We know that why this is called RC coupled amplifier. This is uh, because we are using coupling devices as resistor and capacitor. And if you see about RC coupled amplifier, this is the most popular type of coupling uh, of amplifier because it is a cheap and provides excellent audio fidelity over a wide range of frequency. It is usually employed for voltage amplification. So this particular circuit is mainly used for the application of voltage amplification and uh, for the current amplification and power amplification uh, we are having different amplifiers. Uh, we will see it later and this is the cheapest and excellent audio fidelity providing amplifier. Why this is cheapest because uh, we are having uh, very less components in this circuit because of that this can be derived from low uh, very small components and it gives excellent audio fidelity. Uh, we have to see this in the frequency response of this circuit. And if we come coming to the operation of this circuit, we will apply input or signal at the first stage input side, first stage base through a coupling capacitor, input coupling capacitor. And we are providing biasing voltage plus VCC to the whole uh, two stages at a time. And this circuit is connected to ground. And we know that the first stage is having a potential divider biasing circuit and the signal which is applied at the input is connected to the base and the uh, transistor will amplify the signal and it is and at the uh, collector terminal we will get the output the signal and uh, from this collector terminal with the through the coupling capacitor we will send the amplified signal to the next stage and and the next stage e, the input at the next stage is also applied at the base of the second stage transistor and at this at the second stage also there are uh, two uh, resistor, resistors which will provide biasing to this circuit and this transistor also amplifies the input signal and this will be the amplified signal at the second stage will be received at the coupling capacitor of the output stage. And if we see the detailed uh, transforming of signal from input to output, we will find that and the complete circuit can be divided into two types that is first stage and second stage and the biasing voltage is applied in common and the circuit is total circuit is connected to ground. And if we apply input of a phase, uh, zero degree phase difference of a, a wave and at the uh, base of the transistor Q1 and at the coupling capacitor we will receive a output at of the first stage that is at the coupling capacitor between these two stages we will get a 180 degrees phase shifted signal. This is because a common emitter mode transistor will provide 180 degrees 180 degrees phase shift to a signal that is applied at the input. So this phase shifted 180 degree signal will be applied at the second stage and this second stage will amplify the signal that is applied at the input which is uh, having a 180 degree phase shift with the input and this again will be phase shifted to another 180 degrees in the second stage CE mode amplifier. So in this in this case what is happening because the input signal at the first stage and the output signal at the second stage will be in uh, in phase but there is a change in the voltage that is uh, the signal is amplified and but the input at the second stage and the input uh, output at the second stage will have a 100 degrees phase shift uh, difference this is what the complete operation and the key operation that is going to happen in the two stage rc circuit and the coupling is done through the coupling capacitor CC. And if you see the frequency response of this circuit, two stage RC coupled amplifier, then we will find frequency response of two stage RC coupled amplifier. 
it is clear, uh, this is the frequency response we know that frequency response is nothing but the curve drawn between frequency and gain of the amplifier the frequency and the response of the amplifier is operating frequency and the response of the uh, amplifier is nothing but gain gain given by the amplifier at different frequencies that is this is called the frequency response of an amplifier and uh, this is the curve that is drawn between gain and frequency of the practical two stays rc coupled amplifier so in this we are having linear increase and in some frequencies and a constant in some frequencies and again decreasing at other frequencies it is clear that voltage gradient drops at the low frequencies if it is up to 50 hedges the voltage gain gain is decreasing and at the 20 uh, and at the high frequencies to after 20 kilo hedges if it is 20 kilo hedges then the freak after that 20 kilo hedges the gain is also decreasing and at the mid frequencies that is 50 hedges to 20 kilo hedges the frequency is constant the response of the amplifier at these frequencies is constant the frequency range is divided into three slots with uh, regarding these responses the frequency is divided into three slots and uh, they are low frequencies at 0 to 50 hedges and at high frequencies 20 hedges to uh, 20 kilo hedges to and more and at mid frequencies that is because between 50 hedges to 20 kilo hedges these are the three frequencies why we are having these differences with the response of the amplifier because at very high frequencies uh, at low frequencies the curve is linearly increasing because because we know that there are uh, bypass capacitor ce this ce at the uh, the reactance of the capacitor is xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi fc this is the formula for capacitor C at the low frequencies the capacitive reactance is very high at very low frequencies the capacitive reactance is very high so it cannot effectively shunt the RE which is having very high voltage so we are having very uh, high voltage drop at the low frequencies and when we are going to high frequencies the capac uh, reactance if uh, the capacitive reactance may be small but the inter electrode cap capacitances at the in the circuit we are having the junction which is having a capacitor which will form a capacitor and here there is a junction which will form a another capacitor and these capacitors the inter electrode capacitors in the transistor will affect the gain at the high frequencies so at the greater frequencies the uh, gain is decreasing and at the mid frequencies it will have act as a constant gain provider this is because the operation of frequencies the at these frequencies the capacitive reactance is effectively shunts the emitter resistance because of that the frequency res re response is flatten at the mid mid range frequencies with this uh, we can understand that audio frequency range is uh, 2 hedges to 20 kilo hedges the audio frequency range is 2 hedges to 20 kilo hedges so be, uh, we have uh, read that this practical two stays rc coupled amplifier gives a have effective fidelity for audio frequencies because we are having 50 hedges to 20 kilo hedges with a constant gain so because of this we this uh, rc two stage rc coupling amplifier will act as a good fidelity giving amplifier at the audio frequencies this is all about two stage rc coupled amplifier